So I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Isn't that lovely? Monstrous sized bull. And I say he's monstrous sized, I mean I think he's probably standing about... Hmm... I mean, I would have said there about uh, 12 feet, not quite 12 feet. Let's say, let's say 10 feet at the shoulder. So he's a very large animal. That one, obviously, not quite as large. And they're just starting. They're sort of feeding gently now. They don't seem to be too irritated by anything. But there's definitely an element of tension that I can feel through what I was describing there, that sort of sixth sense impression that you get. Now, let's look at this elephant here. Now, this is an elephant that I would be careful of in this situation. So you also start to learn how or what might affect them, what might make them feel uncomfortable. He is now sandwiched between us and some bushes. I can't see how easy it would be for him to get away or through those bushes if he felt uncomfortable. Now an animal's default reaction just about when they're feeling uncomfortable is to move away. So I would now be quite careful of him. I know that he could escape to the back, but I don't necessarily want to make him do that. I want him to be able to just carry on moving the way he was moving. He's not indicating any kind of irritation at the moment, so we'll just sit here, talk calmly, and watch how he reacts. Look at that. Now, Lindsay Lou, who you say, are elephant bulls fertile and able to mate when they're not in must? Lindsay, it's my impression that they are, but that they just don't. So the desire, if you like, does not take them. So were they to come across an oestrus female, they would probably not even notice, perhaps. I'm not sure that they're, you know, because they are not in must, I'm not sure that they would actually even pick up on an oestrus female. But when they go into this heightened testosterone fueled time of must, then they pick up on oestrus females, they actively look for them. And so I think it's a question of not so much whether they're fertile or not, I think it's much more a question of desire. But that's a great question, and I, you know, that's my impression. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Hello Mary, you're wondering how often a bull will mate with a female. It's normally once, uh, because she's got to really tolerate it, you know, she doesn't... It might be more than once, it might be sort of once or twice. But unless she is prepared to mate with him, he cannot sort of force himself on her because she must, it's, it's quite a difficult process for elephants. And she's almost, she's got to stand still. She's got to uh, sort of, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, she's got to actually spread her legs quite wide so that he can maneuver himself if you like, into a position where mating can take place, or coupling can take place, if you like. And I'm pretty sure that once that has taken place, once there's been a successful mating, then, you know, he will move on, and she won't tolerate it again.